Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another early, fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys and Target. And today, I got a whole host of new action figures to check out and show off for the upcoming Holothon 2022, which starts March 18th. Some have already started hitting stores early, right? But a lot of new figures, various brands, very exciting. The Wolfman, Lon Chaney Ultimate Wolfman, black and white edition. You can grab him along with... Already, the 40th anniversary of the Evil Dead, Ultimate Ash. Demona glides in for the new Gargoyles action figure line. And, of course, a new four-pack of Turtles, in case you missed the old ones. Nice pickup right there. But this guy, this is the one. This is this is cool. We'll talk more about him in just a few. But if you are interested, Holothon starts March 18th. And for those in the U.S. of A., you can head over to Targets and to Target.com. That way, you can grab everything either online or in the store. And for international peoples... Starting March 18th, you can head over to holothon.com and grab everything you need as well. So, this is going to be a blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at a ton of new action figures from NECA Toys in conjunction with Holothon 2022. So, let's get started. And of course, continuing on, we have the Lon Chaney, the Wolfman Ultimate Universal Monsters figure. Now, keep in mind, this is the black and white version, as you can see on the side of the box. Don't let the poster fool you. It's the black and white version, especially when you turn it over the back. You get to see a very Lon Chaney'd figure right there. And you got the Wolfman open up the box. And here's everyone involved with the creation of this particular figure, along with the barcode if you want to go ahead and scan it at Target. So we're going to get him open. I'll get some of my other Universal Monsters, and we'll see how he compares. Because, well, here's everything out of the box already, right? Don't adjust your TV screens, of course. He is a black and white figure. I just kind of threw some of those old-timey lines on there. Just give a little of a cell dirt, a little film dirt going on. But uh, in either case, I mean, I'll give it to him all day. We'll say, Evil Dead aside, these head portraits are fantastic. I mean, those look like they leapt right off the silver screen. That is pretty, pretty dang good. I have to give it to him. All day, right there. I love the snarling, more subdued, right? Works for both in terms of poses. Along with the head portraits, you do get a pair of werewolf feet. And the cool part about this figure is that you can go from Talbot to Wolfman or mid transformation. I'll show you all that in just a second. Along with some werewolf hands, only one pair of werewolf hands, right? So they do work. A couple extra hands would have been nice, just saying, in terms of the werewolfness. You do get three hands as far as human go, which are nicely rendered. Now, this is cool. Like I said, with the Evil Dead and all the weapons and everything else, well, you get a bear trap. And not only is it a bear trap, it's actually a functional bear trap. Now, it's not going to slam shut, but if you push down on the, the pad, right, this can open up. And you can close the trap up. So in that sense, that is really well done. I totally dig that. I like that you have a functional bear trap figure. And again, if you didn't want to use it with the Wolfman, feel free to use it with whatever else is in your collection. But nice paints, nice details. It's got that whole black and white look to it, along with the werewolf cane. This has got great spooky detail on it as well. You need the Wolfman cane, right? To beat up some werewolves and whatnot in the movie. Whatever you want to say. And along with the Wolfman, you do get a stand for posability. And then, yeah, you get a really nice Larry Talbot looking Lon Chaney. I think the head portrait is pretty much there. I would say. I'm not going to tell you that, oh, I know what Lon Chaney looks like on a 24-7 daily basis. It's good enough for me in terms of uh, what I'm thinking of. And yeah. The folds, everything, NECA, pure fashion, right? Stylized, very cool, nice bottom of the feet, rolled up cuffs, got some cankles going on, right? <laughs> hey, it works. Go watch the movie. You see the actor, yeah, it works in that sense. But yeah, nice folds everywhere. It's just a very black and white figure, and for this particular style of the Universal Monsters, it definitely works. Standard articulation. You get all the mobility you want from a guy in a, a mid-transformation of werewolfism, right? And the feet and the cankles and everything else will spin <laughs> so it works in that sense so very well done on this but oh man he got bit so he's gonna be transforming right pull off all the pieces and you do get one beautiful looking wolfman figure i give it to him all day if you're a huge fan of universal monsters 
I think you're going to be very happy with this guy. From the look of the hands, the fur, it really does capture. Now, it's it's a it's corny, right? It's cornball. If you oh, you know, I'm into CGI and all that kind of stuff, you may not get this. But for old schoolness, that's a pretty dang good looking wolf man. And like I said, you get all the different poses. You watch the movies, walking through the forest, he's doing the whole growling thing. Yeah, goes after a cemetery worker, whatever you want to do. Yeah, he, this figure will achieve all those different poses. And the stand will help you. You can kind of get him up on his feet, kind of go a little bit of that walking style. He's lurching for these kind of stalking his prey kind of thing. So, yeah, on your shelf, he should fit in quite well if you wanted to go that route. One nitpick, I will tell you, though, I wish his head could go back just a little bit more so that you could give the full, like, oh, like howling at the moon thing. Because when he's in mid-transformation, this is where that figure really starts to shine. I give it to him all day. You can have him holding the cane. He's got one human hand. He's got the whole werewolf hand, one human leg. However you want to display him, it'll definitely work. Put him in the bear trap, right? You can definitely do that. Ouch, that hurts, he says, right? That's the facial expression for when this works. I think the two expressions definitely work with this figure. Now, if you have some of the other Universal Monster figures that they've been putting out, most specifically the black and white. I don't have the mummy yet, but I do have the black and white version and the colored version of Frankenstein. I think these two go well together. Heck, if you, if you wanted to put them in the uh, Evil Dead universe and have Ash going up against the uh, Universal Monsters, you could totally do that too. And again, all the facial expressions really work. Ninja Turtles, Universal Monsters, sure, why not? If I could be completely honest with you, though, I will say this. In terms of what they're doing with the Universal Monsters, this is a great-looking figure, but I think I really do like the more colored versions better because it goes with more stuff. Not to say if your whole collection is, like, the black and white series, it's going to look great, but that would be my only nitpick with this figure. Otherwise, it's fantastic. But I think for me, personally, the colored version of the Universal Monsters by NECA is my way to go. I'm going to wrap it up for my look at all the Holothon offerings thus far. A lot of great toys, a lot of great brands, a lot of cool things are happening. Don't forget... Holothon officially starts March 18th. So depending on when you see this video, there might be stuff out now, right? Maybe check the stores, just FYI. Or uh, they will be hitting your local Target stores soon. Now remember, if you're in the United States, you can hit up Target or you can go on the Target app. And for all the international peoples, you head over to holothon.com and you can grab all the different toys like each and every one of these that we went over today. And I want to say thank you to the people over at NECA Toys and of course Target for sending these over for the purposes of giving you guys this early fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly remember, bring on the turtles, baby, and then the gargoyles. And, and just keep those coming. That's cool with me. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.